Hi there, my name is Gary and I'm going to introduce you today to quad rotor hovercraft. Four rotor hovercraft that do not operate in ground effect, all right? They operate well above ground effect uh, at up to several hundred meters or more elevation. Uh, uh, currently, they are just, they are just, uh, uh, how you say, UAV camera drones. They are drones that just uh, take photos and, uh, you know, do surveillance work. They're used quite a bit with, uh, the you know, police and military and search and rescue and places like that. Uh, this is one company that makes those. They, this is microdrones.com. If that, uh, if I can get these to where they can shut. That's a that's a quad rotor UAV drone. If you can see that, take a close look. All right. And here's another one. Here's kind of what it looks like right here. Uh, wait a minute. Right about there. If you can see that, where my finger's pointing. That is a top-down view of it. There's four electric motors and four rotors. It's got right in the middle here, uh, it's got batteries, lithium batteries, and power control electronics. They have GPS autopilot. They even operate the thing via telemetry. And that's where you, obviously, you take a, uh, take a laptop computer and a radio signal between the computer and the UAV drone, and you you actually get a real live uh, bird's eye view of whatever it is you're you're attempting to survey or or find uh, if it's a search and rescue group. Uh, anyways, uh, this is one of the very first quad rotors. I'm I'm gonna give credit where credit's due. This is Time Life, a book called The Helicopters. All right. It's kind of a history of the development of helicopters, okay? And uh, inside is a 1920s project. At that time, in the 1920s, it was a secret Army project at what is now Wright-Patterson Air Force Base uh, in Ohio. Uh, I believe it's somewhere near Dayton, Ohio. But uh, as you can see, those are. Uh, uh, it has a very strong similarity to the... Uh, uh, micro drones product that they're they're now selling. Uh, it's a, a uh, an, an item that's uh, being sold even today. This is uh, one of the very first prototypes. Uh, it was in the 1920s. It was a Russian uh, emigre that uh, immigrant that uh, helped develop this. And then, while well, they like most secret projects, they just uh, canceled the project and and said that it it really went nowhere and that it, it never got developed, but you saw otherwise, like I said, microdrones.com, go there, and you'll see what eventually became of that. Uh, what I propose is a extended range piloted version of what you just saw. All you really have to do to make that real is amp up the ponies, get more horsepower, uh, Larger electric motors that would normally be found in electric cars, electric trucks, uh, even electric motor-powered sports cars. Uh, get four of those motors, and uh, you can overtax them up to 300% if you build the build the electronics and the power control system the way it should be. Uh, for limited periods of time, you can go easily triple the the nominal rated rated horsepower of those. So. Uh, you could easily go, let's say, 12 and a half to 25 horsepower on each motor times four. You're looking at either 50 or 100 horsepower uh, uh, constant rated. In other words, it can do that all day, and you could go probably maybe 20 minutes, a half hour to an hour maximum at uh, up to and including 300% more power than that. So. I, I, I can help you develop this idea. It's, it's just basically it's uh, lithium batteries, electric motors. Uh, there may be a hydrogen fuel cell and uh, you know depending on what your uh, needs are as far as extended range capability, uh, you might want liquid hydrogen, uh, compressed hydrogen or up to 10,000 psi or, or you might want uh, uh, 
Ovonics, maybe Ovonics Corporation. They have uh, metal hydride uh, fuel storage. So it's just basically a fuel cell, lithium batteries, uh, electric motor, uh, and that sort of thing. Uh, if you want to know more about this, please contact me at cargoblimp at gmail.com. I can clue you in on, you know, how we can maybe put together a design team and make this into a real piloted quad rotor UAV drone, uh, one that maybe eventually you could put an airframe around and make look a little bit like a, uh, maybe like a UFO or a scale model of the Seattle Space Needle, that kind of thing. So just give me a jingle at cargo blimp, all one word, at gmail.com. Thank you very much.